Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Argentina! Or Le Plata! Yeah! I'm not gonna forget that, people. <laughs> so anyways, guys, we're here right now trying to decrease our expenditures and trying to increase our our foreign gun... Uh, you know, our gunpowder factories actually have to keep in line because gunpowder actually is useful. But anyways, people, right now what's happening is, is that I looked at all these factories and for the vast majority of them, I actually can't build anything with. As you guys can see, they're all kind of being built by my uh, enthusiastic investors. But for the most part, I can't actually do it myself. So I'm just watching and just kind of sitting here like, hmm. So they're going to build that. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, let's see. Rio de Sol. Rio de Sol just finished up. Rio de Sol. Let's remove focus. Santa Fe. Let's move down there. And so, yeah. So basically, we can't really, it saddens me to say this, but we can't really do it. We can't really build most of these, and the ones that I actually can build, they're not worth building. Like, let's see. What was it? It was this one right here, the Build the Furniture Factory in Pana. In Pana? A Pana? I, I, I know that's Portuguese, but I don't know how to pronounce it. I seriously don't. And Pana's right here, but, and they say to build a luxurious factory there. Well, for one, there is no timber, so you can't build a timber. You need to first, to build a luxurious factory, you need to first build a timber factory. They need to build a, you know, just a regular, you know, regular, um, chair factory. I don't think that's what it's called, but I'm going to call it a chair factory for right now. And then you build a furniture, that's what it's called, furniture factory, and then you build a luxurious factory. They want to skip all that, and they want to put it in a region that absolutely has no timber. Like I said, capitalism... Capitalists in this game are dumb. They, they're only good for when you need them to build like railroads and when you're in the mighty Ottoman Empire and you have like the entire world to like railroad. You need capitalists. You need capitalists. Okay. Anyways though, we're trying to... We're trying to slowly... Okay, nah, nah, nah. Back up, back up, back up. We could go about 100. Okay. We're trying to slowly curve how much we actually have in our country because full citizenship apparently that's where everyone's going conquest of the desert yes i always get that event i love it <laughs> gives me 1.2 prestige okay and let's combine all you guys gonna move you guys over here i'm pretty sure this is uh, it's mostly a complete army um we actually do need two things though to make it a complete army you need some some engineer actually that's probably with every army get some one engineer and let's see what else would i need that i think that's it once it gets that one engineer this will be a complete army and we can just move it out. Let's see, we have our two other armies over here. Um, let's see, what do they need maintenance on? Because I don't want to build an entirely new army yet until I know these two armies are good. Uh, probably need one more cannon for that army. Uh, two more cannons for this. So basically, we just need to build some cannons. Okay, that's fine with me. You guys, you guys are almost done with how much I need you to. The liberals just took power. Shoot, that's not what I wanted. Keep holding elections until I get what I want. Oh my goodness. Okay. We will get there, people. Trust me. We will get to the point where I want it to be. Okay, we want to get... The socialists. The socialists are our buddies. Seriously. Socialism all the way. Shoot, you idiots. Get these stupid... Oh no. Oh no, you guys didn't do it. You guys just did the ultimate... Dude, we can... Why'd you... No! No, you guys will destroy my economy! Guys! Dude! Oh my goodness! Oh my... I... I have no words, people. We might... We are seriously in a dire state right now. We seriously have to get these guys out of power. If these guys... If the partial liberals don't get out of power, we really will have to, you know, force a, you know, revolution or something. Because we can't keep these guys in power. These guys stay in power. We're doomed. We're doomed. Like, I'm not even joking. They will collapse all of our hard-earned economy, which is something we can't do. Keep reopening everything. Just keep reopening it. I'm just going to keep reopening it. Hopefully, it will survive long enough. Okay. Let's see. Did you guys combine yet? No. By the way, is this my main meeting place for all troops? Yes, it is. Good. But yeah. Oh, my goodness. That, that, this, this is scary now, people. This is scary. We are, we are in dire times. The liberals are in power. The liberals are in power, and this is really not good. So, La Paz is... Is good now. So La Paz is 2.0. Move down to Chaco. Okay, move down to there. Let's see where's the next place. Common Cantamaria is also good. Let's move down there. Get down to there. Alright. 
and then let's see a uh, partner is also good and yeah, we're getting we're getting very literate people which is what i want to do uruguay we're also getting down to uruguay we're getting down to really our low population areas now which kind of just does stink but santa fe is also good yay i love santa fe let's see let's go down here let's put some more kiloji man in this region it's, those regions should go really, really fast, too, because they're very low population. So, just a little bit of encouragement will help them. Man, though. Oh, my goodness. We're also not... Oh, we're only taxing 50%. Oh, my goodness. We're going to die. This this, this might seriously be the end of us, people. We will integrate forcefully. Yes. Integration forcefully, especially when I have the time to actually integrate forcefully, is the best thing to do in this game. And this is also... I really... You know, I really, this is one of those things I really do like about this mod, is that integration can be done forcefully so that you can, like, force these people to become you. And since I already accept Brazilian as a culture, that makes it way easier, because I'm just like, okay, Brazilian's already accepted, everyone come into my pot, everyone come in, everyone come in, there are no gods! Yes, that's how politicians do it. There are no gods. The end of the Ottoman dynasty, enter an Ottoman overthrown, wait, what? Ottoman, the concept of Ottomanism, an empire formed by diverse culture, has been set off in favor of the national unity of the Turkish people. So does that mean Turkey's now around? Yes, that means Turkey's now around. Huh. So does that mean, how many cultures do you guys accept? Only Turkish. Well, you might have a little difficulty. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's going to be a fun country to play as. Playing as Turkey and don't have any of those other accepted cultures. Wouldn't you guys agree with me? There are no gods. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's been about a couple years. Let's see. How close are we to like the Chile and We're getting very close. I, wait, I'm going to wait until Chile becomes my good old buddy. And then what I believe I'm going to do is I'm going to declare war on Brazil. Take some more land from them. And we'll see from there where we go. Okay, let's see. Oh, we could get revolute. You know, we actually, because since we actually do use a lot of justification and diplomatic influence, we actually could use that. But, you know, there's a lot of other, you know, there's a lot of other technologies we need to get first. Like, state professionalism. That way our army doesn't stink as badly. Like, seriously. It stinks right now. The plot and the liberals keep curving. Okay, who would win the next election? The radicals, the liberals, the socialists. Okay, the socialists are coming up. Good. Keep curving this. Keep, okay, have to keep all my factories alive. Keep reopening my factories. Oh my goodness, liberals, you guys don't even know how badly you guys just screwed our economy. Seriously, this is really bad. You guys seriously need to get out of power as soon as possible. Chile, okay, Chile is finally going to add into my sphere, which, if I'm correct, which means they should just give me those territories freely. Am I correct? No. I guess, hmm. We shall see. So, does that mean... Okay. So, if they're not going to give it to me freely, then... Yeah, it probably means I'm going to have to go to war with them to gain... Let's see. Was well, this even wood? Is this even... Let's see. I'd be going to war for this region right over here. Also, and this region right here. So, these two regions right here would be where I'd be going to war for. I'd be going to war for some sheep, and then I'd be going to war with some iron. Hmm. We'll see. <laughs> I'll see if I want to go that far for that iron, but... Oh. Hey, look, our economy is actually doing something. I'm sure... I'm sure he'll do... He'll make a perfect job. Good job. Our first prime minister is actually kind of good. A lavish exposition. I think that'd be really well for our country. There we go. More prestige to our country. More people love us. Request for private... Privacy. Uh, you know, uh, like I said, I, I was pushing for it. I I'll go for it. Okay, but, oh my goodness, liberals, you guys are going to mess up our economy. Unless I decrease this, but let's, let's go, to save our, to save our economy for the, for the right now selfish liberals, we're going to do 60% defensiveness so I can get everything done, okay? And let's see, have they begun yet? No, they have not, okay. The other country I want to kind of start working on is, have people started to work on, yes they have, people already started to work on Colombia. Hmm. It might, I believe the next nation I'm going to declare war on is Colombia, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to steal the Panama region. 
Because as much as I would maybe want to fight these guys for this region, I think it's just be cheaper just to take this region while everyone's not while everyone's not really friends with these guys. Which is good. Okay. Chile, by the way, you want to form an alliance? Good. Okay. Colombia, I'm gonna start first of all I'm gonna get you guys to minimum relationships with me. Yay! Good job. And let's see. We should be we should be just living. Okay, and let's see. And all you guys are doing good. Tolumpkin is the last one. Tolumpkin. Now we get wow, we're really getting to the bottom of the barrel now. Let's see, and then you guys are here and Choco done. Choco's now done. Choco. Now let's go to Altria Paraguay. Okay, next up, you guys are also done. Rio is done. Um, next is Palatine. Let's go down there. And yeah. Oh my goodness, 6.4. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> I wasn't intending that much, but okay. Encourage some clergymen. There we go. And yeah, it seems like everything's going good. Free trade. Free trade. We're starting to get we're starting to get those. Oh, come on. Come on, we need to get we need to get those communists into power. As quickly as efficiently as possible. Okay. And for Colombia, we're just gonna take your land. Because your land in the future becomes very valuable because in this game you actually get some special events for that. So that's why we want your land. Let's see, anti-military, pro-military. Decrease relations. Okay. Let's see. Or what I could do is I could actually make them a puppet of mine. Hmm. You know, then, because then when I'm a puppet, that means I can actually... Yeah. You know, why don't we make Colombia... This is a better idea. Why don't we just make Colombia a puppet? Because puppets, since I'm never... Hmm. Add this fear, yes. Yes! No. Um... A puppet would be pretty good, because then I get their money. But I don't get the full amount of resources that they do have. But, since I'm never actually gonna get to Colombia, like, in terms of expansion, just having them as a puppet would be nice. Let's see, who else are they allied with? Ecuador, Nigeria, and Costa Rica. Those guys aren't gonna be those guys are gonna be pushovers. Just go send over one army. Let's see, Peru. The only thing is that I don't have any land access to their lands. Um, unless you guys would give me it. No. You guys hate me. Okay, so whew. I'm gonna have to figure out a way. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. How much is my navy building ship? Good. Okay, 102 days. Okay. Build 21 ships, put them over here in this harbor, okay? We're going to build 21 ships in 106 days, by what it said. 6.5 infamy, not exactly the greatest amount of infamy I ever had. Army professionalism, that way I have a little bit better army composition. And yeah, we're just going to, we're just going to flat out make Colombia one of our people. And then that way, once they're one of our, like, actual um, puppets we can get the most amount of prestige from them or the most amount of influence because they're basically underneath us bull market the palatine markets have shown increasing strength of late and the signs that the industrial investments are really huh economics abilities are pred predicting that la plata could see a booming in the years to come wow you know if i was you i would totally have not have guessed that of my economy <laughs> uh, i have little faith in my economy but Let's see. We're going for more interventionism. Do we want to? This gives us more socialists, which is what we kind of. Yeah, we need this. So we get more socialists in power. That way, it curves us. We, I'm hoping to curve these guys out of here. Oh, and we could. Oh, we could do the Menji restoration. Or oh, not the Menji. We could get. Um, with this event, we basically get the uh, integration of Madagascar, which might be cool. I guess. For a little bit i don't know <laughs> but i don't think we should do it right now the surge of communism yay carl's marx we love you man okay we're trying to, we're really seriously trying to push for that liberals oh my goodness you guys are annoying stop claiming the victory okay also you guys get out of here and we're gonna create all of our um cannons we needed one two three four five i believe it was five cannons to Build these armies back up to full strength. And then once all these ships are done. Then we should be able to go into Colombia and just completely take them on. I mean we should probably start the war now. That way we can just you know conquer them. Because I don't want to get to the point where these two guys get to become friendly. And be like oh yeah you can't do that. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't 
It's like, no, I will do what I want. And apparently there's the Top Team Rebellion for the glory of Argentina. I think that, that's, I'm kind of thinking that event's broken right now, but let's see. Korea is doing something. Uh, I guess it wasn't that important enough for me to know. And it seems like some of our clergymen have finished up again. Ungwe has just finished up. So let's see, Ungwe. That was way back there. Let's see. And we're getting to the bottom of the barrel now. Two more regions. Let's see. Is there any other region that finished up? This region. Uh, Platane just finished up. Platane. Uh, two more regions. There we go. And this region also finished up. Afro Paraguay. And there we go, people. We almost have 2% of all of our population in the entire 3.2 million world has, well, a good amount of a good amount of clergymen. Like, our clergymen are 81k. That's good right there, because that gives us a good amount of literacy rate, which is what we need. The socialists. I'm supporting the socialists. Don't get me wrong. I'm supporting them. Okay. So, let's see. I'm allied with Chile. Chile. And let's see. They have an alliance with two really weak people. Um, but I can't march to their land. And apparently, somehow, the Emperor of Brazil can secure an alliance with France. What the heck? That seems entirely improbable in my mind. Okay, let's call that in. Let's see. Is anyone going to oppose to this? Hey, look, the United States will even join in. Let's do... Let's start the war now. The treacherous United States just said, Wow. Hey, United... United, could you please give me an alliance back? That way we don't have to fight each other. I seriously don't want to go through this, like, cold war between us and the Northern America and Southern America. America should just be united in all efforts, in its efforts to destroy everyone across the seas. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. We have two... You know what? I'll take these two cannons already up here. That way we can just go instantly to over there. And we don't have to do very much. Yeah. Oh, wait. I was going to go for more planned economy. What was I doing? What are they doing there, people? We don't want to go back to laissez-faire. We want to go more planned economy. So let's see. Consciousness. Uh, this is the one we want because we want more socialist. We definitely want to keep curving the socialism. That way we get more higher people. Uh, shares production. Let's see. We're, we still need to work on army a little bit. Our army is a little bit weak. I mean, yeah. And then after that, we probably need to work on our industry. Whew. Okay. We can't really get, the sad part is that we still can't get to where we need to go. Infamy, yeah, it seems, I'm not probably going to be able to get it. Okay, but I'm going to have to wait until I build <clears throat> a massive transporter ships, which should be pretty good because I have almost all of this country basically underneath my control. Well, basically what I say, basically what I mean by that is that I have all of this, this area of Southern America underneath my control, so it should be fine. Should be fine. And let's see. Porto Liberal. I'm trying to get you guys out of power because you guys are probably going to kill my economy. I'm also really, really not looking forward to the fact that I'm losing. Can I really? I don't know. Nah, I can't do that. My economy is way too weak as it is. Can't decrease that anymore. Probably could decrease this by just a little bit. 82. There we go. A little bit less payment to my administrators. Hopefully that won't cause too much of an influx. Uh, it's the best I can do right now, though. Because we don't want to kill our economy just yet. Just yet. Let's see. We have all of our clippers being made. Good. All right. Pro-military. <clears throat> and let's see. Mobilization. We have more. We have our first factory being built in, like, years. Uh... I actually still can't support any of these. And I'm just letting my capitalists run amok. How much are my capitalists right now? 4,000. They've increased by 1,000 since the last time I looked at them. Socialism finally claimed victory! Yes! Does that mean I can start building my... Oh! Yes! Okay, guys. The day has finally come where I can start building my own economy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes! Finally! Goodness gracious, it took us episodes to do this. Okay, so, first off, this would be good for a cannery. This is a good for a can factory, okay? Battle Paraguay would be good for a can factory. You know what else it would be good for? 
okay? It would also probably be good for like a um, boot factory or shoe factory. Well, actually, does it have... If we produce steel, probably not. Okay, um... Let's see, support all of our factories, reopen all of our factories. Just probably went bankrupt a little bit. That's not good, but no, I can actually increase my taxes, yes! Go back to 55 taxes, everyone 55 taxes. 55. 55 taxes all around. Yes! Oh my goodness, that makes me feel so happy. Okay, and let's start, now that I can finally start organizing my factories the way I want them to be, we're going to start destroying a lot of stupid factories, so let's first go to our capital region. Well, our capital mainly should have been producing a cannery. Oh wait, we have no money. Okay, when we get money, I'll start producing more of our stuff and start figuring out what do we want to start building. Because I... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are you literally killing all of my transports? Oh, hey. Hey. Chile. Go kill them. Go kill them. If, if you guys don't go kill them, we literally can't move. We're literally just sitting here because the Peru is being a, a jerk right now. They won't let us through. Oh my goodness. This is kind of annoying. Peru, well, let us through. Hey, that rhymes. It's rhyming accidentally right now. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go up there. Now, let's see. You guys are suffering from Brazilian Republican Guards. Okay. Don't really care, but seriously. Chile, send your army. I don't build up. Ugh. Shoot. If you guys don't send out your army. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Let them eat cake. Immigration push. Uh, let them eat cake. <laughs> That's terrible, but sure. Surge of patriotism. Why not? Sure, why not? Okay. So let's see. We What exactly does this party entail? Free capitalism, pacifism. Okay, so as soon as we're done with war, we're not going to war for a very long time. And right now, we can't do anything because, well, our good friends Chile can do stuff, but we can't. Because everyone else hates us. This is the one bad thing about everyone else around us hating us. Which makes me almost want to do some stuff with, like, Peru. Now, Peru might be my next target because that's really annoying. I should be able to go conquer stuff. Sadly, I can't because of reasons. Okay. But you guys should be able to support right here. Oh yeah, you guys are suffering very, very minimal nutrition. Alright, and with that everyone, I want to thank you guys for watching. Now that we finally got state capitalism, we can finally start building the factories we want to build, start doing, you know, start building the way we want to build, and that's going to be awesome, because that means I can actually put La Plata into a hyperactive industrial phase, and make it actually good. So, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in the future.